Gus was a friendly ghost. There was once a friendly ghost by the name of Gus. He lived in an old house in the country with apple trees and lilacs in the yard. Mr. and Mrs. Scott and their twins, Susie and Sammy, lived there too in the summer. The old house had an attic and sometimes the Scots heard rattles and clanks in it. That was Gus. The Scots didn't believe in ghosts, so they didn't believe in Gus. Still, when they heard the rattles and clanks, they liked to say to their friends, We've got a ghost. The Scots made Gus feel welcome in the old house, so Gus liked them. He especially liked Mrs. Scott. She was so pretty. He wanted to please them all, so he rattled and clanked in the attic, the way ghosts are supposed to do. We've got a ghost, said the Scots proudly, though they didn't believe in ghosts. That autumn, then autumn came and the Scott family left. No need to rattle and clank now. Gus had nothing to do but sit around. One day, he was so lonely, sitting around by himself, that he went for a walk and he met a mouse. How are you? said Gus. For freezing, said Mouse, with chattering teeth. Come and spend the winter at my house, cried Gus. Any people there, said Mouse. I do hate people. Not now, said Gus. Mouse scurried about the house. It seemed a good place to spend the winter, but it was chilly. Let's build a fire in the fireplace, said Mouse, with chattering teeth. I'll get a match. He scurried to the kitchen, but the Scots had taken all the matches away on account of mice. Bother, cried M Mouse. Gus had never built a fire. Ghosts never get cold. But he wanted Mouse to be happy in his house. So he said some ghostly words he knew. And a fire began to blaze in the fireplace. Well, said Mouse with delight, let's have a bite. I'll look in the cupboard. He scurried to the kitchen, but the Scots had taken all the food away on account of mice. Bother, cried Mouse. Gus had never cooked a meal. Ghosts never get hungry. But he wanted Mouse to be happy. Toasted cheese sandwich? asked Gus. There isn't any, began Mouse. Then he saw that Gus was slicing a big piece of cheese. Mouse was delighted. Gus was pleased that he had thought of the cheese. Gus pulled the table up to the hearth. He piled nine pillows in a chair for Mouse. Mouse enjoyed his toasted cheese. Finally, Mouse wiped his whiskers. Which is my room, he said. Take your pick, said Gus. Bed will feel good, said Mouse. He scurried into the front bedroom. 
but Mrs. Scott had put newspapers all over the bed, on account of mice. Mouse made a face. I do hate a newspaper, he said. He scurried into the back bedroom. I'll curl up in a drawer, but Mrs. Scott had put mothballs in the drawer, on account of mice. Of course, Mouse made a terrible face. I do hate a mothball," he said. Gus wanted Mouse to be happy in his house. Try the attic," he said. Mouse ducked into a hole in the wall that Gus showed him, and found his way to the attic. He burrowed into an old mattress, and went to sleep in the stuffing.